food systems, our health, our well-being, our prosperity, all depend critically on biodiversity. The OECD recognises that biodiversity brings $44 trillion worth of, of ecosystem services to the global economy every year. And yet at the same time, the World Economic Forum identifies biodiversity loss as in the top three risks to the global economy alongside natural disasters and climate change. I'm excited to be part of the Biodiversity Council. I'm looking forward to working with people to highlight and amplify the amazing work that's happening across the country that people are doing to try and conserve biodiversity. Scientists, farmers, schools, First Nations, ranger groups, community groups, conservation organisations, there's an incredible amount of work going on. But it's also important that we're honest about the things that aren't working so that we can help identify the solutions and the opportunities to try and bring biodiversity back. Unfortunately, land clearing, habitat loss, invasive species and climate change are all combining to drive biodiversity down here in Australia. We have the highest rates of biodiversity loss of any nation in the developed world and we've actually lost over a hundred species since Europeans arrived in Australia. So we know people in Australia care deeply about nature, but we also know that a lot of people don't necessarily appreciate that there's a biodiversity crisis. So through targeted evidence-based communication, the Biodiversity Council can help people understand what the problem is and empower them to be part of the solution. So communicating and empowering people with this knowledge is gonna be a core mission of the Biodiversity Council working with businesses, with individuals, with governments, we can actually develop strategies that are efficient and effective ways of actually conserving biodiversity. I decided to get involved with the Biodiversity Council because we do have a biodiversity crisis. We do need to make a difference. And I want to bring my skills and the experience I have had as a minister and now in the university sector to help protect biodiversity by working with the top experts, the top scientists, and helping them communicate their science to the public and to government. A key activity of the Biodiversity Council is to analyse big issues, things around biodiversity policy, opportunities for improving outcomes for traditional owners and nature on country, opportunities for helping solve the climate crisis through the recovery of biodiversity, We'll be looking at all of these issues and analysing them in depth and then bringing forward clear, simple guidance on what we can actually do to help bring about solutions. However, we're going to need a lot of help from everyone to make this venture sustainable, to allow us to bring forward the key knowledge, evidence and information that's going to empower people and help us map out a clear plan of action for conserving biodiversity.